Australia is known for its stunning beaches and coral reefs, as well as its high wages. It may seem like a paradise, doesn't it? However, for many Australians, owning a home feels like an unattainable dream. Despite being one of the least densely populated countries, with only three people per square kilometre, less than one kangaroo per hectare, housing in Australia is surprisingly expensive. This presents the Australian housing paradox. A wealthy nation with ample space, yet housing affordability remains a major issue. In this video, we'll delve into why this paradox exists and explore the factors contributing to the expansive housing market in Australia. Imagine this, you're scrolling through a list of the world's most unaffordable cities. You spot Hong Kong, predictably at the top, but then your eyes widen as you see another familiar name, Sydney, Australia, glaring back at you from second place. Yes, the paradise you once dreamed of escaping to has now turned into a nightmare for potential home buyers. But let's not beat around the bush. Sydney isn't the only city facing this crisis. Four major Australian cities have made it to the top 20 least affordable globally, making them unwelcome members of this exclusive and unwanted club. But just how serious is the situation in Sydney? Well, consider this. The median house price comfortably sits for the seller, not the buyer, at over 1.4 million Australian dollars. To put that into perspective, you need to allocate a whopping 80% of your income just to pay the mortgage. The pain doesn't end there. This ranking isn't just a number. It reflects the harsh reality faced by thousands of Australians. So what's causing this global embarrassment? Let's start by examining the supply side issues. While the outback stretches far and wide, most Aussies yearn for the vibrant lifestyle of major cities like Sydney and Melbourne. However, there's a catch. There's only so much beachside real estate to go around, and natural limitations like mountains, coastlines and national parks restrict development in some areas. Additionally, existing suburbs have already claimed much of the available land close to city centres. Now, you might suggest, just build further out. But here's the twist. There are street rules dictating where different types of housing can be built, often limiting the construction of high-density apartments in desirable areas. These regulations are intended to maintain the area's character and prevent overcrowding, but they sometimes act as an invisible fence, keeping new dwellings out. Remember NIMBYism? It stands for Not In My Backyard, and it describes the resistance some residents have to new developments near their homes, fearing it will impact their property's value or neighbourhood character. While understandable, this attitude can further restrict the already limited supply of land. So, it's not just about having enough land, it's about having the right land in the right places and overcoming regulatory and social hurdles to build on it. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about the demand side of the equation. Remember that vast emptiness we mentioned earlier? Well, it's slowly shrinking when it comes to housing availability. While Australia might have space for hopping kangaroos, the same can't be said for its citizens looking for affordable houses. This is due to a surge in demand fueled by two key factors, population growth resulting from immigration and natural increases. This means more people are competing for a limited number of houses, driving prices further out of reach. Another factor contributing to the housing crisis is the Australian dream of owning spacious single-family homes. This preference puts immense pressure on land resources. Apartments, seen as less desirable by some, get sidelines, further constricting the housing options available. Think of it like this. Imagine trying to fit all the passengers from a jumbo jet into a tiny Volkswagen Beetle. It's just not going to work, right? That's the essence of the demand surge. Too many people are chasing too few houses, especially the type they favour. But the story also doesn't end there. This surge in demand isn't happening in a vacuum. Economic factors like low interest rates and government incentives have also played a role in fueling the housing market, making it even more competitive for aspiring homeowners. The current demand pressure in the housing market has led to skyrocketing house prices and fierce competition, making it increasingly difficult for many Australians to achieve the dream of home ownership. The dream of owning a home is becoming more and more distant, as the median house prices in major cities like Sydney are reaching an eye-watering 1.4 million Australian dollars. This means that a significant portion of one's income, up to 80%, would be dedicated to the mortgage. This is not just a hypothetical situation. It is a harsh reality that is pushing the dream of home ownership further out of reach for many Australians living paycheck to paycheck and constantly worrying about rent increases has become a common experience for many, forcing them to sacrifice basic needs such as groceries or healthcare. For young professionals, the struggle to save for a home can lead to delays in starting a family or pursuing career goals. 
Being stuck in an endless cycle of renting makes the aspiration of owning a home feel like a fading memory. Families are confronted with difficult choices, having to decide between securing a decent home and providing essentials such as nutritious food or educational opportunities for their children. The overcrowding that results from high rents can have a negative impact on both physical and mental health, leading to strained relationships and impeding the development of children. Frequent relocations can sever ties with family and community, especially for families that rely on networks for childcare or elder care. Children in families that struggle with housing instability may have limited access to extracurricular activities. First-time buyers are faced with exorbitant prices and intense competition making them feel excluded from the market and causing their hopes to be dashed before they even begin. The repercussions of this situation are extensive, as owning a home was once viewed as a means of achieving financial security and upward mobility. However, this avenue is now closing, further perpetuating existing inequalities. The stress of unaffordable housing can be overwhelming, leading to feelings of anxiety, depression and hopelessness. The high cost of housing further worsens existing inequalities, forcing low-income residents into less desirable areas and creating divided communities. The increased demand for affordable housing support puts additional strain on already stretched social services. Another significant issue that has compounded the challenges faced by Australians is the matter of climate change. The effects of climate change are becoming more pronounced, leading to a rise in the frequency and severity of natural disasters and extreme weather phenomena like heat waves, wildfires, storms and flooding. Additionally, climate change is accelerating environmental degradation, including soil erosion, the salinization of waterways, the loss of biodiversity and the degradation of both land and water quality. These changes, both sudden and gradual, have far-reaching impacts on the places where we live, work and spend our leisure time. Unfortunately, there has been a lack of effective government action to address and adapt to the challenges posed by climate change in Australia. In recent times, we've witnessed in places like Lismore, New South Wales and Northern Victoria that residing in flood-prone areas is becoming increasingly unaffordable due to the soaring insurance costs or the inability to obtain insurance altogether. In other areas, various factors are compelling residents to leave. This could be due to environmental changes that threaten their livelihoods, or they might find it challenging to adapt to new conditions such as prolonged heat waves or less reliable fresh water supplies. For some, the looming threat of another disaster is too much to bear. In essence, the sustainability of living in the places they call home is in question. However, the reality is that not everyone has the means to relocate to cooler or safer areas. Systematic inequalities mean that certain groups are more vulnerable to the impacts of environmental change and have fewer resources to cope. Moreover, it's ironic that homes in hotter or flood-prone areas are cheaper. This means they're more likely to be owned or rented by people with less money, which makes their situation worse. Unaffordable housing can also stop businesses and skilled workers from coming to these areas, which can hurt the economy. With the Australian dream of owning a home becoming harder to achieve, many are wondering if there's a way out of this crisis. One idea is to build more high-density housing, but that comes with its own set of challenges. Imagine a future where sprawling suburbs are transformed into vibrant, walkable neighbourhoods, featuring a mix of apartments, townhouses and mixed-use developments. This concept, known as building up, not out, aims to provide more housing options closer to jobs, transportation and amenities. However, there is a cultural resistance to high-density living that complicates this vision. Some Australians remain attached to the idea of single-family homes, fearing that apartments will compromise their character, privacy and overall quality of life. Concerns about overcrowding, traffic congestion and parking shortages also fuel opposition. Yet the reality is that building outward is not sustainable in major cities with limited land availability. High-density development can offer more cost-effective housing options, making home ownership and renting more accessible Moreover, well-designed high-density areas can foster lively communities with walkable streets, parks and shared amenities. Overcoming resistance requires addressing genuine concerns. Involving residents in planning and design can create acceptance and ownership of new developments. Prioritizing green spaces, open areas and quality architecture can make high-density living more attractive. Additionally, upgrading transportation, parking and social services is crucial to supporting higher density. Imagine a future where innovative solutions bridge the gap between aspiration and reality. Mixed-use developments offer a blend of apartments, townhouses and single-family homes, catering to diverse needs. 
Policy interventions encourage affordable housing construction and address rental market imbalances. This balanced path scenario is ambitious, but represents the most hopeful vision, one where the Aussie dream of home ownership remains attainable for future generations. However, the choice isn't preordained. The future of Australian housing hinges on policy decisions, cultural attitudes and collective action. Will we succumb to the unsustainable spiral or forge a balanced path towards affordability and inclusion? The debate continues. We hope you found valuable insights in this video. Please share it with those who might benefit. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video.